As government seeks to further modernize operations at the port, the lower house of parliament debated the Customs Control and Management Amendment Act 2013 on Monday. The move of the bill, Finance and Economy Minister Howells Lovell, says the legislation has been before the house since 2012. He adds that the bill seeks to amend the act mainly in relation to penalties that are being imposed and to bring the country's laws into conformity with international best practices. Elisa Graham has more details in this report. The Finance and Economy Minister outlines the major objectives of the legislation and the changes that have taken place as part of the reformation process at the nation's port. He adds that a quick release system for perishable goods has also been put in place to allow importers to clear these commodities in a speedy manner. Minister Lovell adds that the legislation also allows for a greater delegation of authority where customs officers are concerned. He elaborates on a proposed amendment where a consistently credible importer and tax compliance is concerned. The most effective way to get somebody to be compliant is to say, when you're going to import, where's your certificate? And then it forces them to go and make arrangements, not to pay, to make arrangements. And I want to make that clear because even if you owe, say, Inland Revenue, $10,000, it doesn't mean that you have to pay $10,000 before you get your tax compliance certificate. No, it doesn't mean that. What it means is that you must go into Inland Revenue, discuss the matter, come to some form of arrangement. They will give you a payment plan. You will agree to the payment plan. It will not be imposed on you. And if it's a question where you pay $100 every week, month, or whatever it is, you're on a payment plan. And you're deemed now to be in compliance and you get your tax compliance certificate. But if it is a case where you are not doing that, you refuse to do that, then clearly it's not fair that the ordinary man and woman on the street, when they go to a supermarket and there's a BST on the product, they can't say they're not going to pay it. They have to pay it. The legislation also states that it is incumbent on the importer to keep proper records of their shipments. Lovell says a culture of strong record keeping must be developed and details the level of container checking. If you are deemed to be low risk, then the idea is that your goods, your container or whatever will pass straight through customs without checking. If you declare on your warrant that your goods are valued at $100, then that's accepted, taken at face value, signed off, $100 take your container and you go. Nobody's checking you. If you are mid-risk, then you will be subject to some procedural checks, but not to the same extent as someone who's deemed to be high risk. Now, high risk will mean that your container will be checked. Now, the way it is done currently, it's as though everybody is high risk. And what that does in effect is that causes a lot of lost time. The St. Mary South representative Hilston Baptiste supports the bill, however has a few concerns surrounding resources for agriculture services and goods and other services. He advocates for customs, immigration and authorities at the Port Authority to work together for the benefit of businesses and importers. We have got to get customs, immigration, <coughs> Port Authority, our fight the science department, which is uh, um, Dr. General Go Francis and Ms. Mrs. Edwards at the plant, at the, the livestock division, all to come together in a meeting. And not because they're not all, in, not all in one ministry. They must work together. They must work together in support of Nantique. And the may relevant ministers must instruct them what to look for. Custom cannot work on its own. So when custom going to open a container of vegetables or meat, they must make sure that plant protection is there and that the meat people are there, livestock. So when they open the container, they do it together for Antigua and Barbuda. The bill was sent to committee stage and will be discussed further in a sitting on Tuesday. For ABS News, Elisa Graham reporting.